So naturopathy is one of the fastest growing medicines uh, today and uh, people are moving more towards natural uh, therapies. Hi guys and today we have a very special guest Dr. Varnaka, a BNYS graduate from India's first BNYS college, SDM College of Naturopathy and Yogic Sciences, Karnataka. Thank you for joining. Thank you. So today we will have a conversation with you about the scope of BNYS. So let's begin. Firstly, like what are the degrees which you can pursue after this uh, undergraduate degree of BNYS, like maybe in, in India or abroad? Uh, sure. So in India, soon after BNYS, you do have opportunity to pursue your MD. MD in either naturopathy or MD in clinical yoga, MD in clinical nutrition, MD in acupuncture. So you have MD in a few specializations of naturopathy. And uh, you can also opt for you know various other uh, you know masters in uh, science uh, in probably nutrition psychology or msc yoga phd yoga i've seen people do that as well and uh, masters in public health masters in um, hospital administration uh, things like that and even in abroad for higher studies what i have noticed is most people either go for md in acupuncture from china um, or uh, you know masters in public health or uh, you know hospital administration or disability studies or things like this from us or canada or some people studied from uk as well so these are the opportunities that we have for uh, you know postgraduate studies after uh, naturopathy okay and what are the job profiles and salaries you can expect just after your BNYS degree, like in India or abroad? Okay, so in India, soon after um, BNYS degree, um, I don't think you can expect too much just when you graduate. Uh, we need to get some experience, like one or two years of experience, and then you'll be able to jump into positions and uh, locations where you can earn really well so in India like soon after graduating uh, you know uh, salary may range from you know 25,000 to 30,000 only like if we are, I am freshly graduated and this is my first job that is what we can expect but soon after first year or you know first and two years of experience if we uh, you know go to a well established hospital and you know show that i have certain amount of experience you can earn really well and also in abroad especially we have amazing opportunities i have a lot of my friends and seniors uh, working uh, in maldives in Indonesia, in Vietnam, in UK, as a you know uh, yoga practitioner or acupuncturist or uh, you know wellness doctor, and um, similar to uh, what I do, I work uh, on cruise ship as acupuncturist. So that is an amazing opportunity as well. Uh, so uh, in these setups, uh, you know when you work abroad. You can expect around you know one to two lakhs easily per month um, even with just one or two years of experience as well and as your experience uh, you know number of uh, years of experience goes up and uh, the salary will be accordingly as well and on uh, cruise especially it is really uh, good too uh, so we get a certain percentage of what we uh, you know uh, the number of patients that we treat we get a certain percentage of what they uh, pay to the company so there is no limit of earning there so if I see more patients um, for my treatments so I can make as much as I want and in many places in um, abroad as well uh, it is it, it works in a similar way uh, they get certain percentage of the number of patients uh, you know that they see and the amount uh, they pay and um, we do have a few more opportunities like in the spa 
departments as well so i've seen uh, people working as spa doctors or spa managers spa directors Uh, after uh, naturopathy degree so there are wide varieties of um, opportunities available for us initially even if it is uh, quite difficult uh, to establish ourselves as soon as we graduate but within just a year or two if you you know uh, find uh, a few things what you love doing and establish yourself there you can earn really well and of course there is option of establishing your clinic too so if you just promote yourself really well you can earn accordingly okay and lastly like uh, any advice any other advice which you would like to cover in this video uh, regarding your juniors expectations regarding the job profiles and the market demand of bnys whether they should pursue this and what's the future of this degree in india like any words on it okay so naturopathy is uh, one of the Uh, fastest growing medicines uh, today and uh, people are moving more towards natural uh, therapies they don't just want the conventional medicine they don't don't want to you know pop pills for uh, you know each and every concern uh, that they have they are moving more towards natural treatment there is definitely scope but uh, i wouldn't say as soon as you graduate you will have it all figured out and you know you are ready to smash it that can happen of course it can happen uh, but for most most of the bnys graduates um, it takes a year or something like that to figure out what they want to do how they want to establish uh, themselves because there are so many wide variety of options available in terms of job profile especially after uh, bnys so uh, once you figure out what you want to do then you can very well establish yourself it is just figuring out and uh, just working towards it uh, after you know uh, when you want to establish yourself so there is definitely really good scope and uh, uh, you know uh, with very less investment as well you can have your own practice you need not necessarily establish a big naturopathy hospital uh, so yeah you have uh, lots of different um, options to establish yourself uh, later there's definitely scope if you uh, relate to naturopathy and yoga really well if you feel passionate about treating patients without the medicines and with just natural uh, therapies um you should definitely opt for uh, naturopathy and yoga okay so i'll put an end to this conversation and i hope that was all like we covered everything about the scope of bnys and it was a wonderful conversation with you dr varnaka and that's it thank you thank you